Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me in again today. In this video I will briefly and quickly talk about soundproofing and room acoustic treatment and what the differences are. Since I started my project of building my recording studio which is outside, I did a lot of research about soundproofing and the whole idea that I'm actually building my home recording studio outside my home uh, in my backyard is for soundproofing purposes and so it's from the ground up all the outside wall the inside wall and everything the roof the slab everything is constructed from the ground up and I need to make sure that the whole thing is soundproof and as I was doing the research and trying to find out how is the best way to soundproof a room I had so many different comments, so many different ideas um, about soundproofing that it goes from one extreme to the next. So basically with all my research and I've done you know, some scientific calculations as well and theories about how sound works, how you actually hear my voice on the video and so on, I came up with the conclusion of how I'm going to soundproof my um, my recording studio. Let's define what soundproofing is and what acoustic treatment is which a lot of people get confused. Soundproofing is basically as it says soundproofing that means sound does not go out or come in to the area that you define as soundproof. Just like waterproof. When a watch is waterproof that means it will tell you how deep you can take that watch and it will not get ruined because water will not go in. Make sense? So basically that's what soundproof is. It, it stops any sound going out or in. Now, acoustic treatment. Acoustic treatment is what um, is inside the room which may or may not be soundproof. My room here, which is in my house, my room is not soundproof. I can hear every sound outside um, or even uh, the children in the other room um, and so on. So it's not soundproof but it's acoustically treated. What, what you see behind me there, that red foam, that's acoustic treatment. And that one there which is also, I've got another one on the other side there and at the back and some around the room as well, they are strategic, strategically placed in certain areas in my room to stop any reflection of sound created by my speakers. Okay, so what sound acoustic treatment does is stops the sound bouncing around in the room. That's all they do. They stop the sound bouncing around the room. So when I'm listening to the sound coming from my speakers, I am about, you know, 80% hearing the sound from the speakers and not the sound that bounced around the room to my ear giving me a better indication of what the music that I'm mixing or mastering sounds like. So that does not soundproof my room. Absolutely not. Because a foam which is about this thick, you know, Americans would call it what? About inch, inch and a half or maybe two inches wide. It's not going to soundproof your room. To soundproof your room, you need density. You have to stop the sound from moving out. Okay? So that's what it's about. Um, I had so many people, um, you know, come up and tell me ideas how I should soundproof my home studio that I'm constructing, um, which is really ridiculous. Even up to the stage of telling me that I should actually use egg cartons. You know, the egg great cartons where you've got you know 24 or 36 eggs you know screw them onto the wall and then you soundproof your room no <laughs> that's not soundproofing that's not even acoustic treatment because there's no density it might have you know maybe one or two db reduction of sound bouncing around your room but that's about it you know there's no density in them you just won't work and to the fact that when you want to do soundproofing, it's not only about stopping the sound from your room going out, 
most of the time you don't want the outside sound coming in. So if egg cartons worked for the inside, it will stop the sound going out because you know it will stop reflections and reverberation of uh, of the sound being generated in the room and might dampen the sound a little bit and stop it from outside. Even these acoustic treatments, the foams, will have a maybe two or three dB at max of of noise reduction because they're stopping the reverberation. To stop any sound coming outside, that means I have to cover the whole world or everything around me, all the buildings around me with egg cartons. Ah, face bump. It just doesn't work. Okay, so that is a stiff difference between soundproofing and acoustic treatment. For a properly designed soundproof room, what you need to do is have a way to stop the sound coming in and out. And then once you achieve that, then you acoustically treat the room so that you don't get reverberation, you don't get sound bouncing around. So when you're recording a microphone, uh, any audio source through a microphone, all you hear is the direct sound of that instrument without any um, issues of reverberation or even sometimes, especially if you've got two microphones, any phasing issues and so on. So that will be your ideal situation. So how I'm going to achieve soundproofing in my new newly built home studio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up the concept of room in a room. So basically it will have an outside wall and then once the outside wall is finished it will have you know sound insulation so sound is absorbed and dampened before it goes out. At the same time any outside sound coming in will hit the, uh, the insulation bats uh, which which called sound screen and that will reduce down the sound and then there will be another frame wall basically inside the room again with some air gap which is I've calculated how much that air gap needs to be um, and construct that and they will be sealed as well and again another sound screen insulation in between so that any outside sound coming in will be dampened down from the initial um, wall and the air in between will create more dampening as an insulation and then second insulation and then my my room the secondary wall which will be you know not touching the outside wall including the ceiling ceiling of the internal wall will be detached from the roof so there's no uh, any vibration from the outside um, like a truck passing by or um, uh, or my neighbor doing a mowing the lawn those sounds will not come in or they'd be minimal and then what also you need to do is the internal frame and the structure when I'm jeep rocking it or drywalling it they need to be completely sealed so all the corners, everywhere that, uh, that is, there is a joint, they need to be sealed off. So the air inside the, the room has nowhere to go. So it's basically sort of like um, not a vacuum. Obviously, you can't create vacuum, but in a, in a sealed area. So if the air doesn't move, there's nowhere for the air to go. And sound needs air movement and pressure to go to to generate to go out it will be contained as much as possible at the same time because I've got two rooms uh, or two walls there will be two doors as well one locking the outside frame and the second door locking the air inside frame so that's why you will see there will be two doors opening and closing and they be airtight sealed so that's how you can sound um, proof your room. If you want to try out the principle, get to, you know, this is sort of like a concept of the idea uh, to work out. Get two different sizes of um, salad bowl, the normal salad bowl, glass one or plastic and so on. Get your mobile phone 
and play music on it. Put it on a table, maybe a thick table, a wooden table if you've got one, or, or on the floor. Then put your first uh, salad bowl on top. Okay, and that will reduce, you will hear that the sound will be dampened quite a bit. Even though there will still be some air movement because it's not tight sealed. You press it down, it will tight, make it tighter. And then on top of that put your second and even larger salad bowl on top. And you can see how much it will actually dampen the sound of your mobile phone playing the music. So it's the same principle will apply when you want to soundproof your room. If you have an existing room in your house and you want to soundproof so that outside noise doesn't come in and inside noise doesn't go out, your only and most practical option would be is to build another wall inside. Any other um, you know, gimmick, I've seen you know, you know, people try to sell me jeep rocks, which are a little bit thicker and they have some foam in between them and so on, with three times the price of a normal jeep rock or drywall. And then all the other things they're saying, you put that on and it will um, soundproof your room. Believe me, it will not soundproof your room. It will dampen the sound a little bit, but any bass sound, especially bass, anything less than 100 hertz, 100, 120 hertz, where it becomes, instead of airborne sound, it becomes vibration and impact sound, it will go through that wall, no, no, no problem, no hesitation. Might have maybe one or two dB reduction, that's about it. So, I thought while I've experienced um, in the past two, three months researching about soundproofing your room, if you are thinking about it, save your money and do it once and do it correctly by having a room in a room. Any other option will simply not work as effective as they say it would be. It just, the, the numbers don't add up. All of the data sheets that I get from um, these manufacturers who claim to have, um, you know, soundproofing um, jeep rocks, wall, drywalls and so on, they, it just, it, they don't add up, you know, they even, you know, get, you know, furring channels to mount it onto the frame and on top of them, again, so all of the noise transfer reduction, so, so that your sound doesn't go out or come in, you know, it's m at maximum, you know, 20 or, or 20, 24 dB, where what I'm trying to achieve is about 50 dB of uh, noise reduction. So I hope that now with this video you can understand the difference between soundproofing and acoustic treatment. Completely different things. Foams in your room will not soundproof your room. Um, it, it same goes with windows. So if you have a window in your room, um, the only way you can actually do some sort of noise reduction, um, you can't do soundproofing unless you build another wall as I mentioned, if you have windows, the only way to reduce some of the noise from the outside is to put another window with a gap of at least, you know, uh, maybe minimum 100 millimeter air gap between uh, the outside window and a new window you need to put in there. And that needs to be sealed as well. So not a sliding window, it won't work. It needs to be airtight sealed. So I hope this explains the differences between soundproofing and acoustic treatment. If you have any comments, if you like to make any questions you have about soundproofing and how I am actually going ahead with soundproofing my studio, we'll find out when I finish it. Um, and feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And I'll be happy to direct them to the right people, the right information that I have uh, researched as well. Um, I'm more than happy to help you out. And until next time, keep your volume a little bit lower if you don't want to disturb your neighbors. And if you want to record, just wait until it's midnight. <laughs> until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio.